In today's video, I want to do a very basic video on how to set up your computer to get started with serverless framework. So what I'm going to do in this video is first I'm going to show you which terminal I'm using, then I will be installing some packages that you need in order to install serverless and also I will install Atom that is my default text editor. This is one of the videos that you will want to watch if you're starting with serverless. Also if you want to get started and you don't know how to configure your AWS account and how to create it go and check the link I'll leave you in the card and also in the description box below these two videos together will left your environment ready to get started you will have a working serverless framework and a working aws account so now let's go to the computer screen and let's get this rolling so now i'm in the computer and the first thing i want to do is to install the terminal i like to use because in mac i don't like the mac terminal so i will install this iterm2 and for that i'm going to the web page where iterm is and i just download it and then i run the installation process as any other mac package if you want to see how i configure my iterm because i don't use the default configuration let me know and i can make a video about that it's pretty simple now when my iterm is config is downloaded and installed i'm going in download atom because atom is a cool text editor that i like to use i will download it and when it's ready i will also install it and get it ready after atom and the terminal are installed then i will go and install homebrew that is a package manager for mac and with that i will install node so i just follow the instructions in the web page and i continue everything that it says there and it installs homebrew and with that i can then install different packages that are needed in order to install serverless or any other development environment so i like to use homebrew you can also get node from other places but this is the way i like it so after the homebrew finish updating and getting configured then i will install node using it it takes a while so i will speed this up for you because it doesn't make sense for you to watch the whole installation of my different packages that homebrew needs after it's done then we can go and install node we just type brew install node and as easy as that node comes and it's installed brew works for a lot of different libraries that you might need so you will enjoy using it for for other things as well and this will download the latest version of node into my computer after it's done then we are ready to install serverless. Serverless is a node library, so we will go into install it as a global package in our computer. So we just do npm install minus g serverless and we download serverless package in our computer as a global library that we can use from anywhere. When that's done, then we are going to configure our credentials our aws credentials in the serverless package that we just downloaded and for that you need to have an aws account if you don't have one and you don't know how to do it just follow the instructions that i leave in the card or in the comment box below so we follow the instructions that are in the in the serverless page that is to set up your provider credentials and for that there is a lot of information that you can follow or we just can do one magic line i leave you all these links in the description box so you can find them but it's as simple as that that is the line that we want to use to configure our credentials serverless config credentials then the provider and the secret to find the uh, credentials you need to go to your aws account that you created go to i am and then go to your user security credentials and you can create a new access key the, you follow the video that i recommended in the card you may have already the csv file downloaded so you can just open that and you don't need to do this step when you open that file you will see that there is a, an api key and a secret so you just need to put that in the line and in this case i will just do serverless config credentials providers and that's all then if you open your file the aws credentials then you will see that the credential is configured there then we can verify that everything is configured properly so we just can create a new serverless project and uh, we just do that sls create as always template aws node.js and then the name of the project and it will be my first sls project and we can just open that in atom and we are going to configure an api gateway so we can test this so i will put an api gateway here this is not a 
video about how to make serverless projects, but I was just to show you that you can just deploy this after to verify that everything is properly configured. So I'm just making a very simple API gateway and then we can deploy. If everything deploy, then everything is properly configured and we can go to our AWS account and check that we have the Lambda and we have the API gateway and we can also run that URL that API gateway is giving us to make sure that there is something being returned. So I will speed up the deployment and we will go just to the end when we get the service information we just copy paste that URL and we see that there is something coming back. If we want to remove the service we just do SLS remove and even remove everything from the AWS account so our AWS account will be clean. You don't need to do this this is just because I want to show you how to clean your environment after running some tests. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs 